Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, Strands of Grace. I just want to thank you all for the amazing comments that I received on my last video. I got some really good comments and suggestions and topics to cover. And so we're actually going to jump right into the first comment. The first comment came from Rachel Willis and she asked, what does God think about interracial marriage? So I think to first answer this question, then we need to look at what does God think about love and how does God God love us. God loves us with an unconditional agape love, which means that God loves us without limits. God's love is not limited to our worldview, to our personal prejudices, and to the cultures that we grew up in. And so Mark 12, 30 through 31 actually says to love the Lord with all your heart, all your mind, and all your soul, and all your strength. And then it says to love your neighbor as you love yourself and that there is no command greater than this. So this is not only limited to friendship and this is not only limited to romantic relationships. So God does not say, hey, love each other, but don't marry each other if you don't look like each other. And so there's a verse, 2 Corinthians 6, 14, that says, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. And some people can kind of take that out of context. So some people look at this verse and say, okay, we should not marry someone who is not the same skin tone as us. But no, that's not what God is saying. God is saying to not marry someone who is not a Christian. If they do not believe the same thing that you do, if they have not professed Jesus, if they are not walking with the Lord, then God says, do not marry that person. And so God says, do not marry someone who is not the same religion and make sure that you, a man is marrying a woman and not any other combination nation that we can think of but God does not say that we should not marry someone who has a different skin color than us. God did not put us all on this earth for us to discriminate against one another and that would actually be calling his love a lie but that does not mean that we can't have preferences. It may be your preference to date somebody outside of what you look like or it might be your preference to date somebody who looks like you but don't let your preference be a prejudice. Don't let your preference limit you from God's will in your life. The Bible says that man looks at the outward appearance but God looks at the heart. God is concerned with the heart at the end of the day and he does not care what somebody else looks like. He just cares that they are following him. So if you marry someone who is the same skin color as you, but you were totally open to God's will, then still glory to God. I don't even think that God even cares about that. We have to realize that God does not look at the world through our eyes. He looks at us with unconditional love. And so if we are marrying someone who is glorifying him, glory to God. Now, I do realize that it is so hard to love someone unconditionally. And then if you are someone who really has a hard time getting out of your heart what you have been taught or what is embedded in you, then it's really hard to love someone who looks like you. And it's even harder to love someone who doesn't look like you. And it's important for us to recognize those things and really allow God to work on our hearts concerning those topics and concerning our prejudices and it's not something to down ourselves about or to get discouraged about but as long as we are acknowledging God as long as we are wholeheartedly seeking God then he is going to change us from the inside out lastly if you are having issues with that then you can certainly message me then you can certainly comment down below and I will be in prayer with you thank you all for tuning in and I will see you next time